This is how to run every glitch blitz in Madden 25 and how to block it. So let's get into the first glitch blitz that we're going to talk about today. And it is out of double mug, nickel double mug, and it's going to be called mid blitz. Now they either run it out of mid blitz or they run it out of nickel dog buzz three. Let me go ahead and set that up in my audible right here. So we could just easily go to it. It's the exact same concepts. So we just gonna come out in mid blitz. And now we a bunch of offset like every other weirdo. All right, so to set this blitz up, all you wanna do is press left on the D pad and then press down on the right stick. Then you can get those angles on the inside as you can see. As you can see, I had to do it twice, but you see those blitzing angles right there from those guys. Just go with your user and you wanna, you can either hover here Jesus Christ, get out of the way. Either hover here or right here. And as you see, when I snap that ball, it's a little looping situation that happens in the middle. Well, disengages, loopers, all that other good stuff. As you can see, I could do it again. Boom, boom. You make sure they actually got the blitz angle. Because usually you have to crash and do all of that good stuff. But no, now you just do this. Boom. See, they can loop off the edge. They can do a lot of good stuff. As, as you can see, I'm going to show you guys it. Out of nickel double mug, uh, uh, out of nickel dog buzz three as well. You can see with this one, same thing. Left on the D pad, down on the right analog. Boom, you got that blitzing angle right there. And we cooling, bro. And we cooling. We're going to stand like right here. When I snap this ball, you see, I mean, they pick it up a lot better these days, but at disengage, be disengaging. Another way that people like to run it, like I said, you want to you want to make sure you get those blitzing angles from those guys. Then another way people like to just sit they um sit they edge defenders, they sit them out in the zone, whether they be a hard flat or or a curl flat. Now, even me, if I run this, sometimes I just leave it like that because it's really the disengages that you focused on in that middle. And I would use or a defensive lineman sometimes because I mean it really don't matter. You ain't really got to hover anything. Them disengaging can get to disengaging without you hovering anything. Like as you can see, look, they look look my right left tackle. Just disengaged, getting just getting just cooked out there. Now, let's get into why y'all came here. I'm pretty sure most people know how to run it, but do you know how to block it? So first thing you want to do is block your running back. Okay. Look at look at your blocking angles. Look at who is supposed to be blocking who. All right. You don't want your running back to have to block one of those rushing guys. Because if it's his responsibility to block one of those rushing guys, the offensive line is going to ignore him. He's going to run right past. And the running back ain't he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He he ain't going to be able to hold that block too long. He's going to get shed it quick. So what you want to do is you want him to be blocking an outside guy. So what you want to do is you want to half slide your line towards. You want to half slide your line towards your running back. And then you want to ID the mic that's hold down L1. And you slide. You also slide by holding down L1 to bring up these things right here and you slide towards it and then you want to press x to id the mic and you want the mic to be id as the edge rusher right there once you id him you see who is slated to pick up who now the running backs is look like i said i id i id jason i id jason taylor it's just showing up weird because it's practice mode but id jason taylor and if jason taylor's um Block, then he's gonna just focus his attention to whoever is gonna be running through the line. Set that up right there. Like if we just if I was to send him out, then the running back is just gonna help and do whatever he needs to do. There. Boom. Now let me do this. Boom. Boom. As you can see, the running back helped pick him up. Now we could run around. We could do whatever. I got two, I got two hands. So you know what I'm saying? Well, I got well, I got two controllers, two hands. You know what I'm saying? It's all me. It's all me for this. And I'll show you guys this again. This is why they hover the gap. Because if they hover the gap, as you can see, now somebody has to account for that gap guy. So half slide towards the running back still. And ID that mic. But usually for this, I want to ID the blitzer in the middle. We can get the damn. Hang on, it's on him. When it disappears, it's on him. So as you see, we've ID'd him. Now the running back's job is to block him. You want to make sure your linemen are blocking those two middle linebackers at all times. Because them the boys that can run through freely and they get diabolical. You know what I'm saying? And my running back is blocking him. But if he doesn't rush in, then the running back is just going to stay. And he's going to wait for work. So as you can see, they send in six, boom. Running back stays. He motioned over. They pick him up over there. 
perfection. That's how you pick it up. But just know, I'm showing you how to pick it up. Shit not 100 proof. Just like they blitz not 100 proof. Sometimes it won't come through. And being able to have a quarterback with speed will help you a lot. We got to set up. Like I said, if they if they ain't hovering that gap, set it up correctly. Hold down that mm, slide towards your running back. ID that mic being over here. Because you want to make sure those two middle guys are always being blocked by your alignment. You see what's hot over there? Cool. Boom. You see what's blocked? What's getting picked up? Boom. You can move, move, move to where you, you know what I'm saying? See, it's not how that you're cooling, you're doing your thing. Get that ball out. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Now let's get into this next blitz. <clears throat> now the next blitz I want to talk about is free safety zone blitz out of dime three, two. Set this up. You want to make sure your auto alignment is set to base and your auto flip is off. That's what you do to set it up defensively. Boom. And then you just call free safety zone blitz locked and loaded. Now I'll just come out in verticals again. And the beauty of this is um, you have to be on the right hash. It works sometimes on the left hash, but on the right hash, this thing is on steroids. So you make sure they on the right hash and you come out in this defense. But what I like to do is I like to drop my L1 guy. I like to drop him in the coverage back there. You know what I'm saying? I like to drop him in the coverage. And then I like to hover right here. You know, I like to hover right here. Sometimes I pinch my line in. You know what I'm saying? This is this just, this just what I like to do. Set it up the exact same way that we set it up in Madden 24. They needed that kick return. Oh my God, they needed that kick return. And boom, as you can see, the left guard moved completely out of the way. Absolute dumbass. Absolute dumbass. I'll tell you guys to see it again. That's how I like to do it, but it, it works the same way if you just stand still. But like I said, that's how I like to set mine up. Pinch over that gap right there and look at the left guard. He just, yeah, it, it, it absolutely insane that the same thing works in this game. What can we do to block it? All you want to do is hold down L1 and ID the mic as the cornerback opposite of the blitz and linebacker right here. Then you can see the angle. As you see the angle that the left guard takes. is much better. See, look like he's moving towards that way. So the angle he takes to get this, he can stand in and he can block it. It's as simple as that. Is that going to mess up uh, my blocking for my right tackle because he's targeting the corner? No, he's still blocking a dude directly in front of him. But you got your left guard who isn't completely dumbing out. And if you want to run the blitz and you see your linebacker like run down like that, just press right on the D-pad and then up on the left analog. It'll put him back where he need to be. Like I said, this is it. This, this is that angle without, you know what I'm saying, ID in the mic. He just goes out too wide and the guy just runs in free. He goes out too wide to make a block. Now let's run how to block it again. Let me go ahead and set it up. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is ID the mic all the way opposite of the blitzing linebacker so you can get that angle on your left guard. Boom. And he'll pick it up every time. 